Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and ready for a very tasty cocktail this week. This is my Tuminous Tipple Delight. Kind of hard for me to say. Uh, this is inspired by a cocktail that I had at a bar in London, uh, the Blind Pig. The bar is incredible. It's basically all its cocktails are based on storybooks and things. So this cocktail is my variation of that from there. It's my best friend's favourite cocktail. I've had it twice from there and she's had it as well and she loves it. Whenever she comes over, she'll ask for this as well. So it's beautiful. It's sort of like a cocktail version of a Turkish delight. It's really good. So we're going to use gin in this cocktail. We're going to use Lanique, which is our rose liqueur some white chocolate liqueur, some vanilla syrup, some egg white powder and some lime juice. So let's get going. As always, we're going to start with our shaker. And this week, because I want it quite frothy, I'm going to put in a little spring. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. I think it was from one of these I had um, and I took the spring off and I use it in the shaker. And that means that the egg white is a little bit more frothy. Fingers crossed. It doesn't always work, but fingers crossed. Uh, so we're going to start with the gin and we're going to do 50 ml of this and it's silent pill gin that I'm using this week. So 50 ml in here. Quite a summery drink this one actually so I think it's quite appropriate now that summer is just around the corner. So that was the gin. So we're going to do the 30 ml of the rose liqueur. Now I actually have this bottle here which is almost finished so I'm going to use up this first of all. It probably will do me for this cocktail. So there we go. This really is a beautiful liqueur as well. It's one of my absolute favourites. So then we're going to do 20 ml of the white chocolate liqueur. The creme cacao. I never know if that's how you say it, so I tend to just say white chocolate liqueur. It sounds better. Okay, so in with this. Then we're going to do 15 ml of vanilla syrup. If you don't have vanilla syrup, then you can just use um, sugar syrup. That's absolutely fine, but I had this from my last video that I needed um, vanilla syrup for, so we'll use that. So it's 15 ml of this. And then 15 ml of the lemon juice, which I have already squeezed in here. So we'll do 15 ml of this. I'm just going to give that a little stir, just a little taste of it to see if it needs anything else. Mm, really nice. I'm going to do a tiny little bit more of the rolls because I really do like taste them quite rosy, if you know what I mean. I just finished the bottle, may as well. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the ice. Um, no, I'm not, I'm gonna add the egg white powder. I'm gonna be forgetting that. So I think, as I've explained in other videos before, if you don't have egg white powder, you can use a fresh egg. Obviously, that's what most people do. Um, but I started using egg white powder a long time ago, and it's just fab. If you don't have egg white or you're a bit funny about using it, it's also quite sticky. Um, egg white powder is fine, so just a teaspoon of egg white powder in there. And you don't need to shake it dry and then shake it with ice. You can just put the ice right in and start shaking and add the spring coily thing in there as well. Add the ice. So, and then give it a really good shake. home doing this on my own or with me and Ben I would go really crazy on the shaking to get a really good foamy top but it doesn't look as good on camera so I'm trying to be a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> Almost there, I shouldn't have done uh, an arm workout today. <laughs> We're going to go with that and see what that looks like. So for my glass, I have this really, really gorgeous sort of cooked glass for this beautiful um, 
little flower design on the outside, which I love, so I'm going to use that today. Okay, so I'm going to string it into here. Such a lovely sort of bubblegum bubble pink flavour, um, colour, sorry. Been perfect for the glass. Okay, here we go. Now, to garnish, because obviously there's quite floral tones going on here for the, the rose, um, I'm going to do a scattering of some rose petals, some lavender, dried lavender that I have as well, and some edible flowers. Now I um, grow my own edible flowers, but they are they haven't um, come up yet, as it's just still the start of spring. So last summer I froze some and I keep them in the freezer. Um, they're not as fresh looking, but they're still a good alternative if you don't have anything um, this time of year. So I think they're absolutely fab actually. I'm just going to scatter some lavender over first. Such a pretty cocktail. And I have some dried rose petals as well. Which obviously goes with the theme of the drink. I usually do all my garnishes before because <laughs> no one wants to just watch someone, you know, for, for two minutes garnishing a drink in silence. But um, this all seems to be done at the end, so I think it'll be worth it in the end though. Okay, and then these um, little frozen, not frozen anymore, they thawed out, but little edible flowers just to put on top as well. There we go, that is my Tumminus Tiffle Delight Cocktail. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please join me next week when I will be making a Burrow Original. I invented this cocktail a few weeks ago and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It's a summertime sadness cocktail. So join me for that. In the meantime, please like, comment and subscribe. Happy cocktailing!